Hey guys, welcome to a Walmart haul. You guys know I absolutely love Walmart. It's one of my most favorite places to shop. I feel like their stuff is very reasonably priced. I can always find what I'm looking for. And if you go to a Walmart that is grocery and household and clothes and toys and everything, it's a one-stop shop. I hardly ever do sponsored content. I get, I turn down items all the time. I am most of the time purchasing whatever I want with our own money. I very, very rarely will accept a product even just to review, let alone get paid for anything. I never accept payment for the product. I don't mind getting the product for free and then reviewing it after that, but I don't accept money in return because I like to have my own honest opinion about things and I don't want any expectations put on me. If you guys have been following me for a long time, I, hopefully I've exuded that throughout the years, but this particular video is sponsored by Walmart. Isn't that insane? I know. Walmart reached out to a number of influencers, offered a gift card to purchase whatever we want from the store and to share it with you guys, and I am happy to oblige. I love Walmart. I spend so much money here throughout the year, and I'm very, very happy. We've had a list of things that we don't necessarily need, but are nice to have. So I can't wait to show you guys what I end up picking up. Let's head on in. I know things are a little bit different with the mask and with the coronavirus and everything, but you know that when I come to Walmart, one of the first places I look is always the plus size section. Their plus size brand is called Terran Sky. I've been eyeing these cardigans for a couple of trips now, and I haven't broke down and, and got one, but they're so cozy and comfortable. I'm gonna size up so that I have a little bit of extra cozy room for the fall and winter. You guys know I love me some comfy loungewear. These are my favorite little soft, super cozy lounge tees. They're from the brand Secret Treasures. $10, you cannot beat it. They have the pants that match too, but I never get the pants, I always just get the shirt. So I wear them with leggings. You guys have seen me in the pink camo, super cute. I also have the Frye. I ended up going with the hearts and I love them. And I think today I'm gonna pick up the more love in this really pretty like royal blue color. I have one more, although I don't see it. I think it's a gray. Yeah, cause I have a maroon. I tend to get three or four of them every single year and this year's no exception. Andres was just saying that he needed more dry fit type shirts for our walks. And so I'm gonna pick him up this dark gray, like a heather gray by the Russell brand. I think he'll really enjoy that. The next place that I really like to be at in Walmart is this shoe section. I've been able to find shoes for myself, for Andres, for all the girls here for many, many years. And I really love coming to see what all they have as the new season changes. Kids are so rough on shoes and they go through them so quickly. They often have a lot of like knockoff shoes. Like these for instance are a knockoff of like a Doc Martin boot. Um, and a lot of them are, are ones that the girls really, really like. They find them super cute with not a high price tag. And because they're so rough on them, I can buy them more for a lower price and it works out well for everyone. A lot of you guys told me that Walmart sold the Heritage one gallon jars. They're actually a dollar cheaper here than they are at Target, which is awesome. And they have the three quart as well. So they're in stock. I don't need any, but I would highly suggest this. And I would also link it down below for you guys if they have it online. Also such a cute way to just jazz up your kitchen counter by your coffee station or your laundry room for a really great price. Sneak peek, I think I did pretty good. Okay, I'm home. I thought I would share with you guys what I picked up at Walmart today. Pretty good finds. Um, if you watch my vlog channel regularly, then you've seen me show some, a few of these things before because I've purchased them in the past. I went in and got a different style or whatever this time. I got um, some stuff for, of course, myself. I got one thing for my Hinebunny, a few things for the girls, and then some household stuff. So let's jump right in. Pretty excited about this haul. So I showed you guys in store the um, secret treasures and I will insert footage of me trying on each of these things so you guys can see exactly what they look like on 
me. Um, the Secret Treasures, I always get a 3X in, which is a 22-24. They are a bit oversized and baggy, and I like them like that. Technically, it's a sleep shirt, so <laughs> if you want to be comfy and cozy, you can definitely um, use this as a sleep shirt. I tend to wear them with leggings, and they're light enough that for us, we can wear them in the fall, but if I throw a jacket with it, I can definitely transition it into the winter as well. They are pretty light. If you like to wear pajamas to bed, which I personally do not, um, this is a great option to have. I will link everything that I can find online in the description box below for you guys. Um, this one was $9.97 and for 10 bucks, I literally buy, like I said, three, four, I think this year I actually have, this is my fifth one of them every year. Um, so I have all kinds of colors, patterns, and this right here is like a, almost like a Sherpa type material and it says more love. So I thought that was super cute and I don't have this color blue. I have a navy blue. I think I got it last year, but this color blue is really unique like a teal. So I picked up that and then I also picked up the an athletic shirt in um, also a 3X, I believe. This one is the Avia brand, yes, a 3X, but it's a size 22. So I usually run a 22, sometimes a 20, depending on what the material is, um, but I don't typically go up to a 3X in most of my um, other clothes unless it's a 22. So this is a Junior's brand fit, and it's a little bit more on the snug side, um, a little bit not as loose as the pajama, this guy was $9.96, but when I rang it up, it was actually on clearance for $5, which is great. Like I said, I'll try and link it down below. I love the bright pink. We've been going on long walk walks lately, and this is uh, more of like a breathable mesh type material for working out. Um, it doesn't soak up sweat. It's like a dry fit type shirt, so I got that one. And then I also picked up this. I've been into leopard lately of all kinds. I think it's just super cute, something that I normally haven't gravitated towards. It's the Time and True brand, which is also the Junior's line. So I pick up the 3X in this one, which is the size 22. This is a balloon sleeve leopard top, and I did see it online, so I will link it. It's super cute, very flattering, I feel like. Um, the balloon sleeve hits in a really good spot and then the actual shirt it just kind of flounces at the at the end there so um, I would pair this with leggings and some boots really cute for the winter it is a little bit heavier of a sweater not as light as the secret treasures brand this one's definitely like a sweater type material so super cute it came in another print as well like I said I'll link it and then the last clothing item for myself that I got is this Terran Sky, which Terran Sky is the um, plus size brand at Walmart. I did get this in a 3X because I wanted it oversized. I tried on the 2X in store, which is the 2022, and it fit perfectly fine, but I wanted it to be very cozy, very oversized, just like a cardigan should be. I eyeballed this last time I was there when I picked up the other sleepwear shirts and I just didn't pull the trigger. It was only $15.87, which is a great, great price. It came in a bunch of other colors, patterns, um, and just solid, solid colors, but I really wanted the leopard one. And I was so bummed I didn't pull the trigger last time I was there. I just picked it up this time. So I'll show you guys what this looks like on, but it's just a really nice, neutral I feel like leopard is definitely neutral I would wear this with like a black shirt black leggings um, you could even do like a tan shirt with black leggings and boots super cute for fall so I'm excited to wear that and then Andres is probably the hardest person to per to buy for when he's not with me because I'm I never sure of like I'm never sure of the fit that he wants um, or the cut, the style, the color, whatever, you know, so I tend to not buy him too, too many clothes when he is not with me, but he has made mention recently that he needs more dry fit shirts when we go for walks, working out, like even today he was wearing a heavier cotton shirt and he was pretty uncomfortable, so I picked him up this one, the Russell brand, he does like Walmart 
just their brand in general, the dry fit. So we're going to try this one. Um, the Russell Brennan and extra large, and this one wasn't very expensive either. Nine forty four, which I feel like is a great price for a dry fit shirt. And I got it in the, um, darker Heather gray. So I think he's going to like that. And then for Everly, I got her two things. I got her this because again, I can't, I can't not do, this is probably more like a snow leopard type print, but the Wonder Nation brand is $5, $4.96. You cannot beat that, especially for little ones who grow out of their clothes so, so, so fast. It does give you a guide, like their height, their weight, stuff like that. I picked her up in 12 months. It's um, just an animal print dress. $5 again, you can't beat it. Super cute. It does come with the chunas underneath. You could, the thing I like about these types of dresses is like if she does get a little bit taller, the dress may still fit her, um, the top part of it. And then I could always pair it instead of with the chunas, pair it with a pair of black leggings, um, especially when she starts walking. So super cute. I picked that up for her. And then she was the only one that I did not get Halloween pajamas for at Carter's uh, a couple weeks back. So they actually didn't have any more in her size. So I picked her up mini. She loves mini. I think that's what we're going to do for her first birthday. The smallest that they had in store was 18 months, but honestly, this looks like it'll fit her perfectly fine. She's a little bit on the bigger side. The pants may be a little bit large, but I think the shirt, especially once we wash it, I'm actually not sure the material, but it feels like just basic cotton, like it would shrink. This was $7.88. Definitely a lot cheaper than the PJs that I picked up for everyone else at um, Carter's, but they're so cute. The Minnie Mouse uh, jack-o'-lanterns on the back, and it says beautiful. Actually, it says beautiful, and it glows in the dark, which is super cool. Emmy's glow in the dark, too. So I picked those up for her, and then one more Halloween thing. We love getting these velvet plush throws. I, as you can see, this one was only $10, so really great price. I've never had a Halloween one before, and I thought this one was so cute with all the cats, with the bats and the skeleton, the jack-o'-lantern, spider web, the candy. Super cute. The girls love laying with these. Right now we have two fall ones that I got from Walmart several years ago. And when I saw this, and it was literally the only one in store, I knew I had to have it. If I can find it online, I will link it for you guys. It's so cute. If you love cats, you love Halloween, I think this is a perfect transitional blanket to have. And then Emmy and Everly's parties are the only two that we have left for the year. So I did pick up her um, stuff that she requested. All we've been doing as far as the theme, she originally wanted Harry Potter. She changed her mind to Minecraft. So I picked her up the Minecraft table cover and then the cake plates and the food plates. She's not sure what kind of food she wants to do yet, but she wants Minecraft cake and I will do her balloons in Minecraft, which is what I've been doing for all the girls. And the only part of the theme that we've been doing, cause we haven't been doing like goodie bags or anything like that since we've just been having at home parties is the plates, the table cover and the cake. So perfect. I picked that up for her. I picked up a birthday girl pin. Fortunately for us, this could work for any of the girls at any time. We still have Maddie's special day to do, so she could use it, and then Emmy could use it, and Everly could use it. Maybe not Everly. She'd probably rip it off, but that. And then I have a ton of balloons that I've got from Amazon, but I don't have any black balloons. So I picked up three packs of black balloons. We are having a Halloween party for all the kids that I think they're going to love, and I had no black balloons, so I picked up all those. Also... Minecraft is black as well, and I needed it for Emmy's party. So that was the party stuff I picked up. I'm going to show you this food stuff so I can get this in the freezer. Um, my Hinnabini's favorite ice cream is Millennium Crunch, and they did not have a gallon, so I just picked him up a pint so he could have a little treat. And then I picked up two things for coffee, which I'll show you in a minute. So let me put this in the freezer. Okay, so this is something that is so not necessary, but something I've been wanting to get for a little while. So we have an oil diffuser here in the house. I don't diffuse it that frequently because I know it can agitate the animals, so we don't do it very often. But um, I did want to get one for the car, and I've been looking for one for the car specifically, and I haven't been able to find one. And then when I went to Walmart today, I found this travel um, fan. It's an oil diffuser fan set, but it connects via Bluetooth or like a regular plug-in. It's very tiny. I kind of was looking at it and it looks like it would fit in a cup holder. So I think that this is going to be perfect for the car. I think if I'm not mistaken, it runs off of batteries as well. 
yes, AAA battery option as well, and the USB adapter. So I think that that's super cool. How, oh, you know what? Actually, it's just batteries or USB. It doesn't come with a regular plug, but that's perfect because this can run in the car. It can run through the USB of the car, and like I said, it's small enough that it looks like, in fact, let me open it. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> this would definitely fit in the um, cup holder of the car, and then you just put in, I think, the pad in here, and it fans. Yeah, and you don't put water or anything in here, I'm fairly certain. I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure you put the essential oils on the felt pad, the felt pad goes in there, um, and then the fan diffuses it like that. So I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll have to play around with it and let you guys know what I think. But this is so stinking cute, and I definitely wanted something that would fit in the car and that looks like it would perfectly. And it does come with lavender. I feel like, you know, you have to be careful with the essential oils from, like, a Walmart or something like that if you're especially using it, you know, with your little ones and stuff. But that is so cute. I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Next, I picked up some shoes for the girls. So, um, Everly is a size 3 right now. I just couldn't pass these up. They are so freaking cute. Autumn had a pair of little unicorn shoes like this. So cute. They're not, I mean, they have a, a rubber sole, but they're not. They're actually pre-walking shoes, I believe it said somewhere. I don't remember where I read it, but it said they were for decoration, pretty much. She is standing. She is pulling herself up on stuff, but she's not taking steps yet. She's not even 10 months, so um, I just thought these were cute to go with outfits. And then I needed some suction bowls for her, and this is all Walmart really had, the Munch Munchkin brand. Uh, we use these for the girls as well, and they were really great. Comes with a small, medium, large, and three different colors, so I thought those were cute. And then for the girls, I picked them up boots, fun boots, because they each have like the furry winter type boots, but I thought these boots with the rubber sole would be so cute. So I picked these up there. I think we're each around 18 to $20, which is a great price for shoes. I've told you guys in the past, I don't particularly love spending more than like 15 to 20 bucks on shoes because they're so rough on them and it's so hard for them to keep them clean and to pass them down and stuff. So the least I can spend on them with a decent quality, the better. So I got these for Autumn. I thought these were so cute. They're a pink, a baby pink patent leather and they have kitties on the front. She's going to love them. She's a size nine and hers were $19.96, that Wonder Nation brand. These are Maddie's. She's going to love these. She's so like Barbie pink everything. She's a size one. Um, hers were $18.84. And they're like a high top Doc Martin style shoe. They actually had a white and black style that they didn't have their size in any of them. I thought that that would be really cute. So I picked her up the pink glitter. And then Emmy is totally not into pink. So I picked her up the black. And she's a size 4. And hers were also eighteen eighty four. I was actually looking for the white ones for her because I think that would be... I think she's going to love these, the black glitter, but the white ones I think would have been right up her alley, but they didn't have her size. So I picked up these instead. If she doesn't like them, I may try a different Walmart, but I think she's going to love them. And then for the kitchen, I've been wanting to get these for. Ever. It's a splatter guard for your microwave so you can heat up food without it ruining your microwave. I went ahead and went with the deluxe one. Um, it just it pretty much goes over your plate. It has a hole for venting. You take it off, you leave it in your microwave, and it saves you from having to clean your microwave. So often you can stick this bad boy in the dishwasher. BPA free, all that good stuff. So really excited about that. And then last but not least, I'm so excited about this. We got a Mr. Coffee espresso, espresso cappuccino and latte maker. So this thing was very, very affordable. Pretty much a price point that I couldn't really find anywhere else. It is specifically for espressos. You can do cappuccinos and lattes. It does have a uh, milk frothing wand that does steam milk. So... You could make an espresso, I mean, sorry, a cappuccino or a latte. What I really wanted this for is simply the espresso. You guys know I love to have my Premier Protein in espresso over ice, and now that we have an ice machine and an espresso machine, I don't have to buy them from Starbucks anymore and spend three bucks a coffee. I can make one at home 
which is awesome. I also have my cold foam frother that I got from Amazon that I love that also does steam milk. So this is awesome if we do wanna do cappuccinos and lattes, but we have a frother on top of this. This guy is super little, like the box is very small. You can see in comparison to even my hand, but it's even smaller than that. So it's going to go very nicely next to our regular coffee machine over there on our coffee bar that has all kinds of other stuff besides coffee on it right now. Um, but it's gonna go right next to it and it's gonna be such a great addition. I'm super excited for this one. And then I did pick up this Tarani, tar Tarani, I'm not sure, sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon syrup. I think this is going to be good to do like a chai latte. Now that we have this, we can do a chai latte. I think that's going to be really good in that. And then I did pick up the Cafe Bastello um, espresso. So this is just espresso ground coffee. And we've had this brand before and we really like it. So we have that to go in that. And that is what I got from Walmart today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me go in store to Walmart. Definitely a different experience being in store these days with COVID, having to wear a mask and everything, but awesome nonetheless to get to walk around, around Walmart and put things that have been on my wish list for a little while into the cart. I want to have a big, huge shout out to Walmart and to Magic Links. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video and providing all these products for me to pick up. I really appreciate it. Never in a million years did I think Walmart of all people would want to work with me, but I really appreciate it. I love and breathe Walmart all the time. I'm constantly going there and spreading all the cool stuff that I always pick up. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. We'll see you in the next one.